Good morning, guys. It is the final day of the hike. We are saying goodbye to Buster. Mm. I've called him Buster. We're saying goodbye to Fishtail and Annapurna. It's in the clouds, so you can't see. And we're saying goodbye to Mama. Uh, Don't know about Mama. Okay. You're going <laughs> okay, we've got to put him down. There you go. It's the cutest dog. We have the blessing. Don't know about. And we give the scarf to the wind for good spirits. Yes. 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 Oh, well, you're learning. Bye -bye. We know, Look at yes. him. He's a changed man. You. Yes. So cultured. Thank you. Good luck. Good luck. Thank See you. See you again. Yes. Yes. Oh, you, you have the Apple Watch. No. You have the Apple Watch. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. Thank you. Namaste. Thank you, Mama. Tea House is making good money. <laughs> good money, Dad. <laughs> okay. Best of luck, Harry. Don't See about you Mama. Again. See you. Mm. See you next year. I come See you do Poon Hill. Please. Don't know about. You come. Oh, wow. You okay. even have flowers. <laughs> What's wow. the name? Laligurans. Laligurans. Yes. This okay. is for the Laligurans in Tarapadi. This Don't time, about. many, many Laligurans. So, this is the last day of the hike. It's been an incredible hike. It's made me fall in love with Nepal so much more. We are leaving. Tadapani village, small village, and we are we just got a short hike today, three hours to Gandruk, and then we're gonna get picked up from Gandruk, I think. We're gonna explore Gandruk town um slash village and uh because it's quite a local village and there's gonna be lots to see there. So we'll have lunch in Gandruk and then uh, we'll finish the hike. So yeah, it's been incredible, like uh been tough actually, like uh 20 kilometers every day. Um steep inclines some really intense inclines um but it's been like so rewarding the poon hill like viewpoint was incredible and honestly like i was expect i was just not expecting it poon hill to be this good like the the whole circuit it online it makes it look like it's like one of the easiest or like um average like just an average hike but for me it encapsulates everything nepal has to offer in a sh just a short amount of time so it's perfect for just the starting wanting to warm into the nepal experience and then when i come back next time i'm going to do a, a lot longer hike bye bye, bye, -bye. see you soon <laughs> that's a lie because i probably won't come back here but it's nice to say that uh, Lala, jam jam. Okay, this, this way good to Gandruk. Yes, they've already said to the right, to the right. Ah, okay, yeah, could be easily confused. That's the other thing with this hike. Um, you, you will have noticed we haven't done it with a, a tour guide, and honestly, having a tour guide for this hike is just not necessary in the slightest, unless you want them for like comfort and just knowledge then have a tour guide, but it's really not needed. Like the route is pretty easy, as you can see. Gandruk there, you can just ask locals if you're lost. And um, it's not it's not that hard. You, may, you could have a porter, that would help, but we've only got like small bags because we're staying in tea houses every night. So honestly, you don't need um, a guide. And I just, I quite like doing it on my own. It feels more adventurous anyway. Okay, so. Three hours through the woods, and we will arrive in Gandruk. My calves are like on fire now because we went downhill so much yesterday. So the calves are in pain, but just last push, and and then I get a warm shower as well. I haven't had a warm shower in like a week, so I'm really looking forward to that. We've come to a cross in the roads, left or right? Well, you know there's a famous saying, Dad. When in doubt, just go right. Yeah. No, I made that up, but... Uh, yeah. no, I think that's the you, paradise there is a sign there, but you can't read it. And this, I don't know. Well, it's your call, Dad, so if we get it wrong, I'm just gonna say we should go left just to be different to you. So if you get it wrong, then um, you have to buy lunch. Wow, look at this. The trees are like um, growing out. You can see they're growing outwards and that's because these trees here are taking the light. So to get the light, this tree has to, has to point that way so it gets enough light. Because obviously anyone who doesn't know, trees need light. 
surprisingly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah very romantic. Look at this moss. Amazing. I want to take it and put it on like, make it like an eco home. Yeah, and Harry Potter. So we have a nice little bench slash sitting place. It says the sitting place, Chattari, is constructed in memory of late Basan Gurung, an inhabitant of Gandruk, Tadipani, by her husband and son. Wow. Would you make me one of these if I died? Don't say that. It's a genuine question. Wow, it's pretty nice. But we got to move on. We've only got, you know, half an hour into this trek. And uh, time is of the essence. Namaste, Dai. Sanzo Hunza. Wow. Yeah, he's got provisions and some shit. He's carrying, like, it must be so heavy. All the way up. Unbelievable. Yeah, that's unbelievable. Namaste. Thank you. Good, sir. Good. Rambo, Rambo Tic Tac. Uh, do you have, do you have any buffalo milk tea? Buffalo milk tea, no. No. Powdered milk. Powdered milk. Uh, mm. Eh, cha cha cha. You do? Ah. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Yes, please. Uh, uh you want one? No, no. Egg. Egg elder. Yeah. Thank you. Should we sit in the shade? Like, hot? Yeah. No, we sit in the out of the sun. Yeah, yeah. yeah thank you. This is your, th which is your. Your cafe. This one? Oh, yeah. Okay, nice. We'll sit here. Timur Nam Keho? Pabitra. Pabitra. Nice to meet you. Wow, look at all the stickers. So many people have walked this route. Okay, thank you so much. Oh, wow, they're very milky. Game changer. Mm. Fish is down large, the coffee. Oh. Nami ba mama. Oh, Didi. Very good, thank you. Donna ba. Donna ba, Didi. Thank you. Natsurun ki ma, Anna. Hello. Friendly cat. Ah. Hello. We have our first friendly cat of the trip. You're the last animal I'm yet to pick up. Can I pick her up? She's too big. Wow, very elegant. Like a snow leopard. Amazing. Do you live here? Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. Mm -hmm. What's the name of the village? Baisikako. Baisikako. Yeah. Okay, nice. Egdom mm Sundar. -hmm. Sundar, Sundar. Lala. Okay, nice to meet you. Okay. Have a good day. All right. My dad wants to swim. There's not really much to swim in, but if he's going to swim, then I'm going to swim. So I'm going to get you to hold the camera. This is freezing cold Himalayan water. Oh. Oh my God. Ah. Oh, that's too cold. Ah. Ah. Ah! 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 He's the master. Actually, it does feel nice once you get out. I don't even need a towel. It's just like a. The outside temperature is not bad. It's just that about two degrees. We re reckon, like that's an estimate. <laughs> it's taking a bath. It's a nice waterfall they've got here. Really naturally beautiful, lots of moss. The water is so fresh, I could probably drink it. I'm not gonna drink it because it's my last day trekking. I don't wanna be an idiot, but yeah. I didn't have a shower today because the shower wasn't working. So nice to get a dip in there. And uh, it's always takes me a lot of effort to do it. But every time I do it, I'm very grateful. Okay. You guys better subscribe because I'm putting in a lot of effort making these shots. <laughs> hey boy! What's it? Hey boy! We don't know if it's a friendly or a stray. It looks friendly. Hey boy! What's good? What's your name? 
So sometimes, it hasn't really happened on this trip, when you're doing the Himalayan hikes, the stray dogs come and they guide you. However, because we're on such a popular route, looks like we're not going to get any guide today. But uh, in the future, if you do like Mardi Himal or Langtang, sometimes they help you. Hey boy, this way? Which way is it? We're going to Gandruk, bye. This boss is here. This way. Hey boy. Ah, the boss man. He's guiding the porter. Namaste, bye. Namaste. Good sir. Yeah, pain. <laughs> I'm good, I'm good. Rambo. That's got to be like my, my body weight in so heavy. Namaste. That's a guess, same age as me. Yeah, he looks about your age. So can you, can you try and lift that? Jesus. Namaste, bye. Good sir. <laughs> you going to Tidopani? No, Tarapani. How far is Gan Ganjruk? What's that? One hour. One hour, okay. One hour, how, how many kilograms is this? 40, 45. 45. Oh my god, you're taking it. 40, not 25. Ah. <laughs> you have is supplies in there? Sorry? Supply, like food and for the for the restaurant? For the. Ah, yeah. oh, okay. Can I try and carry it? Okay. Let's see. Use my, my, my head? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. You can just about <laughs> so lift good. it. Try to see a walk up the hill. Uh, it's, it's not like... It's not terribly heavy. But going all that way is it's not so terrible. hard. Wow. I have a lot of respect. Uh -huh. Wow. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> wow. Amazing. I have so much respect for you guys. You are from this area, Pokhara? You are from Kathmandu. Kathmandu. Oh, nice, Kathmandu. nice. Okay. Amazing. Well, I feel a little bit irrelevant with this. I'm from England, uh, Bilat. Bilat. More Bilat, but Bilat. So we had a nice chat with them, and they said they get paid around 1,500 to 2,000 per trip. So that's roughly uh, $10 to $15 for their trip up, which is like three hours and uh, really hard. Like we've been going downhill today, so that means they've got to go uphill. And that, like the heavy, the bag wasn't that heavy, but going uphill would be absolute torture. I just wouldn't, I would struggle so much. I would do it, but I would struggle. So like, so much respect. That's what I've noticed. If there's one characteristic I would give that uh, I've seen, from the Nepalese people is resilience, crazy resilience. Um, I always like to give countries characteristic. Okay, onwards. Ah, look what we have here. A fellow old buffalo. Namaste by. Friendly buffalo? Mm. It's a ginger buffalo. It's a cow? It's a buffalo. What makes you think it's a cow? They don't have cows here. Oh. oh well, I won't, I'll leave him alone. Namaste. Namaste. This Gundruk town is a little bit of a maze, to be honest. It's situated on a hill and it's really beautiful, quite vibey, but it's just, uh, yeah, we don't really know where we're going. We're just walking around and we're looking for old Gundruk. I'm assuming this is new Gundruk. Oh, we have a bank. Wow, this is a proper town. I was not expecting it. We were kind of, oh, there's a museum. We were kind of expecting it to be flat, but it's really hilly here. I could stay longer here, but unfortunately we're just, just doing a day trip. Okay. Oh, wow, look at this, beautiful. Kathmandu coffee. Oh, I could do with a coffee right now. That is calling my name. Should I ask? Namaste, bye. Sounds like Do you know where the German bakery is? 
and old Gandruk. Old Gandruk is this way? Oh nice. Ooh, I could get a coffee. Here. Oh you have you have pastries here. I agree, you have bread. Egg domito pastry? No, no. Bread? It's no, just coffee. No okay, maybe we come back. We'll see the German bakery and then come back. Yeah, come on. Okay. Don't bye. Bye. Love the bank. Amazing. Wow, the chickens. Look at all these solar panels. Namaste, Dai Kitsa. Namaste. This is amazing. Oh, hello. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Momo restaurant? Do they cook them fresh like my friend Jenny? We'll have to find out. I only, I'm only eating fresh momos from now on, even if they take about an hour to come. Okay. I don't know what I'm in the mood for. Either dal bat, chow mein, or momos. I think, I'm thinking dal bat. We'll see though. Depends. We might not have the option. But first, I'm going to eat some very local food. I spotted a German bakery. I've heard they do local food there. <laughs> no, I'm joking. It's been a while. I haven't had Western food. So we're going to try out the German bakery food. Let's see. Let's see if the Germans can provide like they usually do, the efficient German. All right, I've come back. We, we walked down to Old Gandruk and there wasn't much there. So I'm coming back to the Momos restaurant. Namaste. Namaste. Kitsa. Kitsa. You have egg don mito Momos? We do, yes. Yes? yes. Okay, perfect. Let's see what they've got. Oh, they've got, they have got dal bat, they have got chicken chow mein, but if it's a Momos restaurant, I feel like I should get Momos. They've also got, ooh, some, some baby oil. Don't think it's high on my list, but you never know. It's duty. That means thank you in Sinhala. Sin Sin All right, we've got a nice, nice menu here. They've got dalba, they've got noodles, they've got momos. And what's tukpa? Tukpa, I'm, I'm gonna ask. No, uh, what's, what's tukpa? Tukpa is a thick noodle. Yeah, it comes with soup. Is it good? Uh, it's very good, but you have to wait for a while. Okay. We're, we're just cooking them. No problem. What's your, what would you recommend? What's the best option? Tukpa is very good. Tukpa? Yeah. How, how long wait? Mm, it takes uh, about uh, 20 minutes until like that to cook that. 20 just, minutes? Yeah. Okay, no problem. Thank you. And just uh, water? Uh, I'm sure we don't have mineral okay. water. Okay, no problem. Okay. I'll get some. Thank you. Okay. I'm just going to go and have a look around, Dad. It's very interesting the, the way the houses are built. Just made like this. Just put the stones, no cement. Oh, a little bit of cement actually, but... I wonder how earthquake proof they are. And then this, the roofs are built like this. So we have a nice structure. You can see the smoke coming out of this one. And there's a man making some kind of basket. Namaste. What's, what are you making? What is this? Basket? Basket. Oh, wow. Very cool. I would come down and investigate, but I don't know how to get down there. Like this? Like this one? Same thing? Like this one? Yes. Ah, nice. Very cool. <laughs> Kids are just playing. They look like a um, very Tibetan look to them here. So I'm going for Tukpa, which is like a soup noodle. First time I've had it, but I'll try it. And uh, I'm guessing it may, may be, again, a Tibetan um, kind of food. So we'll. We'll go in and investigate into the kitchen when they're making it. But I don't think, I think it's going to take like 20 minutes. So I'll just have a little explore around the place. Lots of arable land here. Lots of really nice hotels here. It's like really vibey place. Like the views aren't that great because it's misty, but on a nice day, you've got the whole town going up multiple levels. Huh? Namaste, bye. Kids, sir. What are you doing? Are you going home? What? <laughs> Is this football pitch? Yes. Oh, nice. You have good English. And they have some kind of golden uh, golden temple over there. But it looks almost like a hotel. Yeah, so this is this is the bottom of the town, and it probably goes up about 100 meters. So it's a really unique place to have a town, but I, I quite like it. It's one of my um, one of the nice places here. 
Okay, let's go and investigate into the kitchen. Let's have a look. Namaste. You are making the noodles? I'm sorry? You are making the noodles? Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Oh, so it's like a... Oh, nice. Thick noodles. And then a soup, I guess, with it? We're gonna find out. Ooh, it's boiling. It's going crazy. So what, you, what goes with it? I'm sorry? The vegetables with it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. Wow, there's so much in there. That's not all for me, is it? <laughs> uh, this is for, uh, I mean, um, this is for six portion, you know? Six, six nice. Portion, yeah. Is this Tibetan food? Yes. Tibetan, yes. nice. Okay. Spicy or not spicy? Uh, it depends uh, on you. Like Perfect. If you, if you want uh, spicy, I can make it spicy. Okay, if you don't want maybe Tori Tori spicy. Yeah, Tori Tori. Timur Nam Keho? Suraz Guru. Suraz, nice to meet you. Ooh. Oh, that smells so good. And then you're cutting up the veg here. Nice. This is a hotel as well? Uh, this is a restaurant only. Just restaurant? Oh, nice. You're from um, Gandrug? Yeah. Nice. It's a very cool place. Okay, I'll wait for my, okay. my noodles. Ah, oh, here we go. We have a... Interesting, they have the Buddha and the Hindu gods together. Wow. They've spread the noodles out everywhere. Nice. <laughs> this is the soup? Yeah. Oh, nice. Uh, then this is, this is uh, chopped onions, onions. And garlic, ginger paste, mm. and this is paste. Mm. Saute. Saute the onions. Oh, wow. And then, this is some Oh, yes. Yeah. And then, you can make up. Kursani. Oh, it smells amazing. The flavor. It smells good, right? Yeah, it smells so good. And then you can make your salt. Oh, nice. Wow. Oh, wow, that's into a solid mixture already. <laughs> we need some water. Is this your dog outside? No. <laughs> he, he's hungry. Hello, sir. What would you like? You want some bones? <laughs> you want some bones? <laughs> it's going to be a hundred rupees for you. Sorry. This is chicken. Vegetables. Ooh, delicious. Oh, nice. Looks good, right? Looks egg don meatball. <laughs> <laughs> Let me add some water. Nice. Is this uh, popular here? Or yeah, I, I've yeah, not seen this. People, most of the people like this uh, oh, really? during winter, you know? Ah, uh, yeah, it keeps you warm. Yeah. I've not seen this being sold in many places really. so far. Maybe I was not looking properly <laughs> at the menu. I just instantly go for momos. Momos. People like this. Yeah, looks good. Okay, thank you so much. I'll wait. So delicious, like a vegetable soup. The noodles are so tasty, and there's a lot of them. A little bit spicy actually, but yeah, this this is as good as I anticipated. I can imagine it's very good when it's cold. Mm. So much flavor in that water. A little bit spicy. We're making good progress. I've eaten all the noodles and now it's just the, the water. But it's so spicy. Honestly, I'm struggling here. My whole my nose is running like mad. Oh. It's like pain. Every every mouthful is pain. <coughs> I'm done. So good, but so spicy. Don't about die. Egg don't meet up. 
Thank you. How, how much was it? It's 300. 300. Keep change. Oh, thank Please. you so much. Thank you, bye. It was very good, but very spicy. Oh, okay. <laughs> I told you you get Tora Tora spice. Oh, Tora Tora spicy. I try to make Tora Tora spicy, but, uh, you know, we make more spicy. You know? Okay, no, it's good. I like it. Very good. Thank you, bro. Let's see if the old man can handle the spice. If you, if you can handle this, and no faking it, genuine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right guys and that concludes the hike around the annapurna region thank you so much if you've watched to this point or if you've watched any of my episodes thank you so much it means a lot to me i've had the trip of a lifetime in nepal the hike has been the icing on the cake i've absolutely adored it and i'm gonna 100 percent come back and do more hikes in nepal like hands down one of the best experiences um i've done this year if not in my life definitely will never forget this <laughs> and uh, just everything about Nepal is just making me so happy the food the people um, the scenery those are the three things that I put the most emphasis on when I'm traveling not other things like um, you know for me it's just about those three things is the most important and Nepal has absolutely smashed all three of those so yeah it's like I don't want to say it's my favorite country that I've ever been to because I don't like to say favorite countries however it's um it it may it may be it may be anyway I'll I'll let it, I'll decide at the end of my trip because we're not over yet we've still got a little while I have actually extended my trip here so yeah we've still got a few more days a few more vlogs and thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video